I'm getting myself organized in my little home here. So, just thought I'd make a video. It's, uh, I would call it late morning, but uh, it's about before nine, this autumn day, and it's really powerful what's happening now. Also, I feel with this uh, YouTube channel, so I'll just share what I feel I'm being told or what I'm learning. So when I really relax and just trust, uh, I feel much more wisdom comes to me. But especially in my situation now, where it seems like a lot is changing and uh, I'm sort of creating my own little space again, as I've done many times. <laughs> I've got the upstairs and um, uh, the more... I feel this uh, insecurity or uh, the worry, uh, the worse everything gets. So it's like uh, life keeps, or my soul keeps calling me into peace. And of course, um, if, if we're to, to really master uh, feeling peace and embodying peace, we have to have something very stressful around us, some, some stressful situations, because otherwise you're just not going to master it. You, get, you can't become good at something if it's not difficult. So I'm very sure with all the th different things I share that I have chosen this lifetime as it is because I want to learn, I want to, uh, I want to evolve and I also want to uh, bring the light, so bring more light into this realm. And so what I got this morning is that uh, we who are connecting on this YouTube channel, I feel that very strongly uh, that we have chosen this too. So wherever you come from, and some people say we've, been, we've lived a thousand lives, many thousand lives. Uh, I mean, we're eternal beings and we're on an eternal journey. And this is just a tiny little, um, a tiny little uh, moment on this journey. But the thing is, the more, the more we, we focus in on growing, the more we get, we're using this moment uh, to grow more and to bring in more light to embody God more, the more we focus in on it. Uh, so it's just like everything in life, the more you focus on something and practice it, the better you become and the more energy and power is brought into this. And because this is a divine mission, which really we're all on, which is some, some people haven't realized it yet, but we're all on this divine mission of bringing, embodying God on this planet, that the planet becomes aware that it is God, and we all, all of life becomes aware that it is God. As it says in the Bible, listen to the cow, listen to, listen to the cattle, listen to the birds, and they will teach you. They all know that they are one with God. They have known for a long time. <laughs> We're just a bit slow. So, so many things, so many things uh, have come to me. So it's just really, really wonderful. Um, and going back to our group, um, the, th the fact that we are connecting on this YouTube channel, uh, there's no doubt in my mind or heart that, there's, that this was, was meant to be. We planned this maybe a million years ago, I don't know. 
but this is planned for us. We wanted to we wanted to find each other. Uh, one way or the other, we were going to meet again. So you who feel you resonate with me, we're old friends. We've, we've known each other. Uh, we're family, really. And we're all family. The whole human uh, collective is a family. But there are family groups within, within that family, I, I feel. And uh, so we, we came here together and yeah, oh, there's just so many things I feel I want to share. Because <laughs> as I said uh, recently in the, the, the God and the ET video, um, I, feel this, I feel this very, very strong calling to help. And uh, that is really the greatest, um, the greatest gift I feel I can I can possibly be given is to to feel that I'm making a difference and that I'm embodying, I'm bringing more light, or I'm I'm just helping. It's a light warrior. We're light warriors. I love the word warrior. Uh, being a warrior, not against anything. You're not against anything. You're just fighting for the light. And the light is the truth. And it is God, and it is oneness, and it is purity, and it is the new golden age. Um, the light is everything uh, that has been cleansed of the ego and the lies. I just have to get my little my little bear, teddy bears in. It's raining. So that sharing this, um, sharing these little teddy, these little things I've had for many years, which I think are very sweet. Uh, in this video, is really remind. I felt I was reminded this morning to just stay joyful, feel the humor, be able to laugh, although you think your life is the biggest mess. <laughs> and every, if anyone asked. What are you doing? Where are you going? You probably answer, I don't know. I have no idea. I really don't know anything really. And to be able to laugh at it, I think that is so... That is so uh, divine. It is so holy to be able to laugh. Uh, to see that it's all actually very, very funny. That is... It's so healing also, and it is so connecting with our soul, because our soul is full of joy, and it knows that this is not meant to be a difficult, tedious, heavy uh, struggle. This life was never, ever meant to be a struggle. It has felt like a struggle because we were struggling against something. What life was presenting us, we didn't want. And so we, we get into the struggling mode. But really, we're here to have fun. And, and, and what is it that, that is most fun? Is it to make do a, have a plan, get it all done, and see the plan work? No. It, it's great when things work and you plan something and it just all works out. But it's not funny. <laughs> it's funny when it doesn't work. And when you can work your way, you can, you can, you can just, ah, oh, and that's the whole flowing thing. You can just accept that, oh, okay, <laughs> I had a plan and it all fell apart. I don't know what happened. Uh, and the whole thing of stop beating yourself up, because uh, that's what we very quickly do. We, 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 we cling to these plans and we, we're desperate to make them work because that way we won't feel stupid and we'll feel that uh, we've got it all together and we're succeeding. But that's not the way of the, of the, new, the new earth. It's, it's to, to, uh, to play with life, 
to flow with life, to dance with life, to be the beautiful, lovely, powerful you, dancing with all of life around you, having some wishes and intentions and putting out some things you wish and you maybe start to manifest, but always in a playful way so that you don't sit there frowning because, oh, it didn't work out. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not, I mean, imagine God, if God sat there looking down at us and thinking, oh my goodness, <laughs> what a stupid idea to give you all free will. I'm going to be in a bad mood now. It's not God-like. God is, creativity is, is just really throwing out your, your wishes and seeing what happens and, and, and shaping it as you go. So it's so beautiful how the more we go into this way of being, the more fun life becomes, the more we laugh, uh, and the more also we feel this oneness. Because if I have a plan and I want something to succeed so that I can stick out, I can, I can be better, I can be more great because I got this working, it's not oneness. So... Yeah, it's just uh, so beautiful what I'm getting. So uh, we can talk a lot about this, but um, mm, yeah, this is really a great marker uh, for when you really think, what what am I doing? What's going on in my life? What am I on the completely wrong uh, in the wrong direct going in the wrong direction? Uh, and when you, you choose to relax in that uh, worry, just, just go into the relaxation and you sense, my goodness, all the wisdoms. God is just throwing wisdom into me and new messages into me. You know you're on the right track. So, so um, this is really, I feel in my life right now, it's really the soul. My soul is calling me to do something that is true for me. And then there's my ego and all the ideas I had, and I must, I must surrender to the soul, otherwise I'm going to be in an immense pain. I must go the path of the soul, and the soul might have very, uh, very different plans to me than what my mind thought. So just going back to this group, um, I feel very strongly that that uh, we're sort of we're sort of gathering. We're gathering together and feel this joy and we feel this truth. We feel that, ah, this feels good. And that's really all we need. So gathering on this, this YouTube channel, which is not really my doing in a way, because we're all, really, we've all done this together. I'm just the one who's pressing the buttons and doing these films. But you who sense this oneness, oneness with me, and you feel good and you feel stronger and you feel, feel more brave to go on your your soul mission uh, I think we have really chosen to gather as a family here so that's what, what I strongly feel and and what's very very important I feel is to, to, to uh, whatever this is to be it might become very small might become very big that's not the point the point is that you feel that this this feels true for me and it builds, it's building me, it's making me manifest more uh, the light and uh, this is, feels healthy for me. Uh, what was I going to say? That, that, that the important thing is to, to make this all inclusive. So this is for everyone. So, because the old ego way of making families and groups was you would close yourself in and be special, a special group. And, and only some could join. <laughs> and that is, that's really, I feel, um, of the, the new age that we are really in. Everything is all inclusive. So the doors are always open. And whoever wishes to come and join in because uh, we will never know if somebody is right for this. They can only know when they step in and try it and feel, does this resonate with me? Does this nourish me? Is this true for me? And 
And so they have to, if we don't close, if we close the doors, they're never going to get that chance. And it has nothing to do with oneness. It's the ego. So I think it's very beautiful. Um, it's in a way like creating a new church. But the word church and religion has so much bad cling to it. So, uh, yeah, so we can call it whatever we want to call it. But um, you who feel this really, really is nourishing and good, that's, you are, we have, we have uh, agreed to do this together. And I'll talk about in another video, well, why would we do this? Why, what, what was the plan? Is there a plan for us meeting now? But I'll do that in another video. So, yeah, um, it's very yeah, so I can just say thank you, uh, thank you for being there, and and thank you so much for for telling me. I just love it when people uh, write to me that oh, I'm so glad I found this because this feels so right for me, and it's it's so powerful when you when you say it, you you express it, and I love being able to connect back with you, which I don't do every time, uh, but that. That connection, I think, is very, very powerful that I'm here and you say, oh, this feels good for me, and I connect back to you and say you're welcome and, and thank you for coming. So it's like coming, uh, we, we're reconnecting after a long time away from each other. And, uh, yeah, so so... It's really, really good, and um, yeah, there were so many things I've written them down. Can't stuff it all into that one video, so I think I've shared enough here. And um, yeah, all is good, uh, all is fine, and just staying, uh, staying connected to our hearts no matter what, and trusting that all is well, and we are all, we are all love beings, we are all, we are all God in human form, every single being on this planet, every human being is God in his or her own form, and the people who are very lost and very stuck have just forgotten, it's the only reason, they're just forgotten. And soon they're going to remember. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if this is going to be a, a Sunday shining video. I can't really sense it, so I might add a Gabriel message. We'll just see. But uh, I send you all my love, and uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for being you. See you, my friend.